Hi guys, I'm Christy O'Connor, I'm the support team leader at Smith Cooper System Partners and today we're going to go through a quick video to make sure your Sage system is ready for MTD and how to submit your VAT return online if it is in that way. So, for anyone who doesn't know, the MTD is the Making Tax Digital option that has been rolled out by the government where certain companies, if you're over a certain threshold, you will have to submit your VAT returns digitally through your accounting software. If you're unsure about whether that applies to you, it's best to get in contact with HMRC because they can tell you very quickly yes or no. Now what Sage have done is they've incorporated a way to submit your VAT return for MTD into their software in the latest versions of Sage. So it is worth checking the version that you're on before you go anywhere with this because we might need a little bit extra. If you go to your tools color icon in the top right hand corner of Sage and then go to about Sage 200, you're looking for this version here. Now I'm on version 35, which means that I'm ready to go. What you need is to make sure that you are on version 0.0027 or higher. Anything underneath that, you will need a little bit more installation doing on your system. You need to get in contact with your business partner to help you out with that one. However, I'm ready to go. So HMRC, I've said they've got my registration for MTD, I've checked my Sage is ready, but how do I actually make sure that the settings are turned on? Well, that's in your nominal ledger. So going into your utilities, your ledger setup, and then your ledger settings option here. Now, as this is a setting screen, you do need everyone to be out of the system, oh, well, out of any screens in the system to be able to get in here. So if that's not convenient at that time you're trying to check, just go into the view ledger settings to see if it these boxes are ticked. If they are, happy days, carry on with the VAT return. If not, time to get the word out for everyone to get out of Sage. Or time to check those disconnected logins. Check out that other video on that one. But I've not got anyone in my demo system, so I can go into my settings now and check my VAT submissions tab here. And you're looking at these two tick boxes that we have here. First of all, enable online VAT submissions. Pretty straightforward. We also submit as a digital record of part of making tax digital. Now this is important. If you've already been submitting online VAT submissions through Sage, you still need to check that this box is ticked as otherwise you're trying to submit to the old VAT portal and it's not going to work now that you're registered for MTD. But I'm ready to go. So I'm going to press OK and I'm going to go and do my VAT return. Now if you've done your VAT return through Sage before, the process is essentially the same with a little bit tagged on to the end. But for anybody who doesn't know, you go to Bacteria Routine, VAT Analysis, and that will bring up your current figures for the VAT return end date that you have set at that point in the system. Mine's 31st of October, and here's my current period return. Obviously, I don't really care about my figures. They mean absolutely nothing, and they're not going to get anywhere online. But you must go through this, because once you've submitted this, once you've produced it in Sage, there is no going back. So you want to be 100% on these figures before you go. Once you are happy with that, you want to click produce VAT return. Tick that you're happy that you can only produce this once in Sage. Any mistakes, you're going to have to roll back your whole system, so please do be sure about that. Option to delete VAT transaction up to a certain date if you want to. Always best to keep a few years in here for audit purposes, about seven years is the standard. But it's completely up to you if you delete at all. Then it wants me to confirm my next VAT return date, which I suppose is technically in January, but I don't really care, so I'm just going to put the end of the year. And I'm going to produce my VAT return. Again, another little warning to say I cannot do this anymore. The system is very clear with you to make sure you know what you're doing. Well, I'm happy. I'm going to press yes. This will now take you through your VAT return on my submission page, and this is where it will start to look different. Go to next. These are my demo system VAT version company names. Now I can't go any further with this because it's not a real company and it's not going to start failing. However, if you click on next and you'll start to be asked for your government gateway details. You will get a code sent through to the number that you specified on your account. All the usual bits and bobs that you expect if you ever submitted your VAT return manually. Then you'll get to the last page, submission, which will tell you that your entry has been successfully submitted. If it hasn't been submitted, 
you'll get an error, which is usually we find because people are doing it on the day of the VAT return is due and the online submission is busy. Just try again later. That's fine. That is something that you can do. You can close out of it. You can come into your completed period totals. The last part I've done here was showing yellow at the bottom has failed. I simply highlight it, click on resubmit, and it will take me through that whole login again. Nice and straightforward. If it fails for a second time, it might be worth giving us a call so we can see what we can do with that error. But most of the time, you do find that that goes straight through. I come out of here, close all my reports, or save them as we should do if this was a real situation. And that is me done. I have successfully submitted my VAT return for MTD. And now that those settings are on, that's it every time you're ready to go. You're all going to have that login each time, just as extra security. But it's all submitted and you don't have to worry that you've got to go check that tick box every time. So, that's us done. Go and check out the rest of our videos, see what else we can do to help. And of course, subscribe to our channel to get our weekly updates. Thanks very much, guys. See you next time.